Welcome to Callahan Aircraft Services series of YouTube videos on aircraft structural analysis. Today we're going to talk about allowables. It's the property, the strength of the material. And we're just going to do an overview, not in real detail, because it gets complicated really quick. So the material property must be based on enough tests. And we use values like 99% probability with 95% confidence. In other words, we're not saying it's 100% correct and accurate. It's probably okay. The effects of temperature. That would go back to 9-11 towers, World Trade Towers. They didn't melt. They got weaker when, we got, when it was heated. The next one is minimize the probability of a disastrous fatigue failure. We want it to last that over cycle, over cycle, over cycle. And this will be, that's called an FA administration um, regulation. We call them FARS. Um, engineering is not an exact science. It's applied science. When people think they can predict exactly what's going to happen, they're wrong. It's all based on probability and it should work. Yes, the chief engineer at Boeing on a brand new airplane, will it fly? His answer is should because he doesn't know for sure. He's not God. Um, we use published allowables, not something you just go make up and run a couple of tests. University of Kansas did a test for Boeing Wichita. They did 300 tests of a fastener. They asked us, Boeing, how many are we doing to test that bolt? And we answered, we are at 3,000. We're on our way to 30,000. So when I say enough test, it's a lot. We get our public allowables from the documents like ARMMPDS-01, which is now held by the FAA. But it came off of Mill Handbook 5. So my generation is all Mill Handbook 5. And my father's generation might have used AN5. So this, be this begot this begot this. And before this, I just told you it was good. Therefore, it was bad. <laughs> this is an example of the page out of Mill Handbook 5, Rev H, which is the last revision. We have all these allowables based on A, ba a basis, B, thickness, temper, flat sheet. This one's clad, so we have this spec number. That spec tells you all this. And then you come down here, it's FTU. We have a little KSI, which is a thousand pounds per square inch. And these are the grain directions. So there's a lot to the properties. So when we say the strength, we're just talking about one number. We got a lot of numbers. Okay. So when we do the tests, we have all these data points. We make the curve. Okay. And we plot this B value. B basis, A basis. So A basis is more, we have more confidence in the probability that that number is going to be good. Okay? And that's it for today. We have many more videos coming up on allowables. Like I said, it does get complicated. This is just an overview.